Hello, this is Dr. Serrano, your friendly nephrologist and vascular interventionist, speaking today about size. Hello, friends. Uh, when you think of size, you think of many things. Sometimes beautiful, sometimes ugly. Uh, now, we can be any size that we want for the most part, and I'm talking about body weight. Uh, and there's certain magazines that glorify a big size and certain magazines and certain people that glorify uh, smaller sizes. Now, what we do know are the facts. And the facts say that the smaller you are, the better quality of life you will live, so the healthier you will be, and the longer you, you will live. So we need to keep that in mind, friends. Now, there's different ways of achieving a smaller size, uh, which is diet and exercise, and then there's, uh, th there's certain medications that we can take that some are FDA approved that we can utilize to achieve that nice, slender size. Uh, there is such a thing as going a little bit too far, and we have to keep that in mind. Uh, we don't want to become anorexic. Uh, we know that independent of size, there are certain conditions that are unhealthy uh, beyond anorexia. I mean, if you're a drug addict or an alcoholic and you're not eating well and you become thin, that's not going to be associated with a long lifespan nor a good quality of life. Uh, but for the most part, if you are... Uh, at a good BMI, basic metabolic index, then you will enjoy a healthy life. Uh, so, how do we achieve this? Well, first, uh, diet is very important. It's probably the most important thing. Uh, it's greater than, I'd say, 60%, so over half, well over half, the contribution of how big you will be. Uh, Initially, I would make it very simple. There's so many diets out there that say, you know, you should have more protein in your diet or more car carbohydrates in your diet or you should diet in a, in a different way, in different patterns. And I think the, the, the way to do it initially is whichever way that you know best. Uh, we can't get that picky. I would say just cut your calories in half. So if you're having a big plate of food in every meal and you're eating three times a day, then just cut that amount in half and you will notice how slowly you will begin to lose weight. Now, once you do that, then you can worry about uh, how you lose the weight, what patterns you use, what specific foods you're able to do. And if you do it in that fashion, it'll be much easier than just to give you a rigorous diet and exercise program. Um, so uh, beyond diet, there's exercise. And exercise contributes to a good 30% or more of, of you getting to a smaller size. Uh, and in the same fashion, I would use your favorite exercise whether it's running, jogging, swimming, whatever you'd like to do, to burn those calories and to, in that fashion, lose all the weight that you can. Now, I'm going to save my good tips for the next videos, but I want you to focus on simplistic facts first and simplistic methods so that you can achieve a smaller size, a better quality of life, and a longer lifespan.